That looks great. Right, it's time for the weather now. And Shafali, it seems like you're somewhere befitting of a movie scene. Tell us more. <laughs> Thank you very much, Becky. Yes, it is beautiful. This is Middleton Hall in Tamworth. And I have to say, it's one of the few places that I haven't visited over the years, and I've visited a few. It's got a thousand year history. It dates back to 1066. One of its former visitors, maybe even a resident, was the commander of the Battle of Hastings. It's been mentioned in the Doomsday Book, and it's set in 42 acres. And this is the centerpiece. It's an 18th century walled garden with may I add, heated walls. Now, that doesn't mean, Amy Evans, that uh, we have heaters or radiators within those walls, does it? No, not quite. They're no longer in operation, but they are a great feature. Now, a lot of businesses have really struggled during the pandemic um, in this forced hibernation, you might say, but you've used the time productively. Tell us how. Yeah, so at the start of the first lockdown, it was really difficult. We did have to furlough staff and we didn't know what our next steps would be, um, but fortunately we have received some grants, um, like many heritage organisations have, and that has filled the, the black hole of the finances and helped keep us afloat, but also given us an opportunity to invest in our outdoor spaces, in outdoor seating, in natural play for children, and really refocus and take a new perspective and attract more young families. OK, well, you've got the bank holiday weekend around the corner, summer on the way as well. Mm -hmm. You're a popular wedding venue, I understand. So yes. is it going to be a summer of love? Are you optimistic? Well, we hope so. We are um, finally able to uh, host some of our weddings from last year, which is brilliant. Um, and we do still have a few dates available if anyone okay. is still interested. You're not just a wedding venue, you're also a heritage site. Yes. Um, we're looking forward to our magical garden trail this half term. Um, as I say, we're trying to focus more towards young families and children. Um, we have a fantastic hall, beautiful garden, so I'd really urge people to come and visit us. Well, you know, if you survived a thousand years, I'm sure you're going to survive this. So uh, best of luck. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And I did meet, uh, mention heated walls, which takes me very nicely into the forecast. You're not going to need them this weekend because the temperatures are picking up. Which um, And also we uh, came off the back of a clear night, which gave our weather watchers a fantastic opportunity to take snaps of that super flower moon last night and then we saw the clouds thickening up as it has done here in Tamworth and also at Oswestry so uh, it is an indication of how things will start off this evening but not how they will end during the bank holiday weekend that is looking we're hoping quite pleasant uh, dry fine sunny and warm warmer with temperatures probably up to between 18 to 21 celsius and the reason for it is because we have a two-pronged arrival of high pressure from the north and also the south and that's going to change our wind direction to a southwesterly and southerly but as far as this evening goes then we start off with this cloud we're already starting to see slivers of blue sky and it's an indication that this cloud is going to melt away tonight and it's going to take our temperatures down to about three to four celsius so it's also a dry night but those winds are going to slowly turn to southwesterlies with that high pressure arriving from the south and it sets us up beautifully for a beautiful stunning day tomorrow lots of sunshine more than today and under the influence of that change of wind direction and the sunshine temperatures up to 20 celsius a bit cloudy with some rain on friday but improving as i said over the weekend back to you becky thanks shafali looks gorgeous and some good weather what a treat now tomorrow we have birmingham's public health director joining us We'd love you to email in your questions for him on anything from vaccines to variants. Email midlandstoday at bbc.co.uk. But I'll be back at 10.30 with your late update. Have a great evening. Bye.